So this is what a Hohmann transfer looks like where you begin in your initial circular orbit, you do a burn to get in your elliptical transfer orbit, and then you do a final burn to complete the Hohmann transfer where you get into your final circular orbit. So the 27th video in the video series of Orbital Mechanics of Python, and this one I'm going to be going over the Hohmann transfer theory, or in the next video I'll actually be going into the software how to implement this into Python. So Hohmann transfers, what they are, is that they're the most efficient transfer between two coplanar circular orbits, and this involves having two instantaneous delta V maneuvers. And at first, this may seem like a lot of assumptions and restrictions, but this is actually really good for getting ballpark numbers for doing analysis for orbital transfers. And as I said, it's a two burn transfer, so the first one gets you into elliptical orbit transfer, and the second one gets you into your final orbit. So going over the calculations and geometry going over this, um, first I'll explain the diagram on the right. Where again, just like the GIF, you have the initial orbit um, close to the central body, and you have your first delta V value here. And I wanted to show these arrows because the magnitude of your velocity in the circular orbit is going to be less than what it's going to be at this point in your transfer orbit. So that's what this is representing, where you have where you're going to have your first delta V burn. And then once your transfer orbit gets over to the final circular orbit, again, the transfer orbit velocity in this direction is going to be smaller than what you need to get into circular orbit. So you're going to need to do that delta V maneuver to catch up to the velocity that you actually want. So as far as how to go about this, the first thing you have to do is to choose two semi-major axes for your initial and final orbits. And because these are circular, um, the semi-major axis is the same as uh, the the radial position at any point in the orbit because of the circular orbit. So once you have those two, you're going to calculate the semi-major axis of the transfer orbit, which is simply the average between the two. So A transfer is your uh, initial. I, I interchange R and A here because they're circular. So they're the same thing. So R0 plus R1 over 2 to get your semi-major axis of your transfer. The next thing you want to do is you're going to calculate the velocities of circular orbits. So this equation, V equals square root of mu over R, is only valid for circular orbits, but you can use them here. So square root of mu, mu over R to calculate the velocity of circular orbits. Then you want to calculate the velocities of your elliptical transfer at these delta V points. Uh, and this is done to the V's Viva equation. I'm not going to derive it here, but I'll put a link in the description where they do derive it. But basically, it just relates velocity to how far you are, you, you are away from the central body and the semi major axis. And you need this because this R is going to differ depending on where you are because it's an elliptical orbit. So again, just plug that in to get the velocity at this point and this point. And then from those two, you can actually just um, find the difference between them to find the delta V values. And again, I'll go over that in the next video. But another thing that you also want to calculate is the transfer time uh, that it's going to take between those orbits, which is going to be half of the transfer orbit period. So you can see uh, the transfer orbit here, it's only going about, it's only going exactly uh, halfway through. So if you take, say, its whole period, it would go all the way back around. And that's conveyed in this equation here for t transfer equals pi times the square root of a transfer cubed over mu. Again, just another equation that I'll put a link in the description that's deriving it, but basically this is half of the period of the transfer, uh, where if you want to get the period of the transfer, it's 2 pi, but again, we're doing half here, so just do that. And again, I mentioned it before, but values to consider are delta V, where delta V is also going to correlate with how much mass of fuel this is going to take to actually pull this off. And then again, time of flight, because time of flight is an important thing. One example of this is say you want to do a transfer from Earth to Mars, you want to know how long it's going to take. So I want to make this video quick, so that's it for this one. Uh, be sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and in the next video, I'm going to be doing home and transfer software. So let me know if you uh, have any questions in the comments, and thank you for watching.